Hey guys, Mike with Financeable here. It's Friday, which means it's time to answer the weekly challenge question. By the way, if you like these videos and find them helpful, definitely hit the like button down below and subscribe. We have a lot more coming. Let's hop in here. So this week's question is a puzzle question. And the question is, we have a company that has $20 of DNA, $2 of income tax expense, $400 of debt, zero cash, total equity value of 200, the company trades at 12 times EV to EBITDA and a 25 times PE ratio. And the question that we have to answer here is, what's the cost of debt? As with all these questions, we wanna start with the end in mind. So what do we need to calculate cost of debt? Well, we need the interest expense and the debt. We have the debt, but we don't have interest expense. And so what we're gonna to have to do is solve for interest expense to answer this question. So let's hop into the details. So just to give the lay of the land here, we have the usual steps that we would walk through to answer this question. But down below, you'll see that I have a little PNL view to show you the answer populating as we build out the answer to the question. So what we're solving for is interest, and we have to work down from EBITDA to get to EBIT, and we have to work up from net income to get to EBT, and basically we're gonna, we're gonna solve for the difference, and that's gonna give us interest expense, which is what we're solving for here. So to do that, I'm gonna start at the top with step one, and in step one, we're gonna calculate enterprise value. I have $200 of equity value. I have $400 of debt, this was given in the prompt, and zero of cash. So equity plus debt minus cash gives us an enterprise value of $600. So we have enterprise value now. Now we're gonna work from enterprise value to our EBITDA, and we're gonna do that by taking the enterprise value that we just calculated, and our 12 times EV to EBITDA multiple, and we'll divide the 600 by the 12. And what that gives us is the first thing that we need to kind of work our way to interest expense from the top, which is our EBITDA. So we have $50 of EBITDA, and we're gonna to continue to work our way down the income statement over here on the right-hand side. So we're next gonna to work to EBIT. We'll take our EBITDA to do that, and we'll subtract $20. And that's gonna get us to an EBIT of $30. So we've worked down to EBIT, and now what we need is EBT, so we're gonna work from the bottom of the income statement up. So we're gonna start with net income, and we have an equity value up above of $200. We have a PE ratio of 25, so we can divide our equity value by the PE ratio to get $8 of net income. And again, we're gonna work up the income statement to get to EBT, so in step five, what we'll do is we'll take that net income that we just calculated, and then we're gonna add the $2 of income tax expense that was given in the prompt, and that's gonna work us up to our EBT. So now we have EBIT, earnings before interest and tax, and we have earnings before tax. The difference between the two is our interest expense. So what we're gonna do is take the EBIT that we calculated earlier, we're gonna subtract out the EBT, the earnings before tax that we just calculated, and that'll give us the implied interest expense. Now we have interest expense and we were given debt in the prompt so we can solve for the cost of debt. So we'll take our interest expense of 20 that we just calculated and we'll divide by the 400 of debt that we had at the beginning here. And so 20 divided by 400 is 5%. So the answer to the question for this week is 5%, and hopefully this makes a little bit more sense now. Again, can't say it enough that with these puzzle questions, you really just need to start with the end in mind and think about what you need to get to and how to fill in the missing pieces. So hopefully this is a little bit more clear now. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to check out these videos and for participating in the questions. If you find these videos helpful, definitely hit the like button down below and subscribe. We have a lot more coming. Hope you have a nice weekend and take care.